If you want to know what it takes to be a leader in construction, that's coming right up. Okay, so you clicked on this video because you want to know what it takes to be a leader in construction. Hi, my name is Chris Conkle and this channel is all about helping you master construction so that you can be an industry leader. Today I'm going to tell you exactly what it takes to be a good leader in construction. First of all, you got to think of, of the construction project for what it is. It is not in the same location as the uh, organizations like the business. It, it, it's always on a different uh, location. Uh, so it takes uh, special management. So the superintendents, the uh, coordinators, field engineers, they uh, they have to be strong and work together as a team. Um, so good leadership in construction, you have to be a team player. So think about it in terms of being a sports player for a franchise almost. Good players are going to be in high demand and um, you, you're going to have to switch loyalties. So it doesn't matter who you work for, whether it's the prime contractor or a subcontractor, you have to have the same goals and objectives to get the construction project complete. Don't forget the leaders are not just the superintendents or the field engineers or coordinators or anything like that. Um, workers are leaders too, individual leaders. Uh, you, if you're a worker and you're watching this video, you're already uh, showing leadership qualities because you're wanting to learn um, how management thinks. We need to all be leaders. We all need to, to live by these practices when we're working. Um, wh when you're on site and you're just thinking about your own task and what that little piece of the project that you're building, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it's not going to be very re rewarding for you. Um, but if you start to think like management and a real leader and you have envisioned the uh, success of the project and you, and you start planning ahead, um, you're, you're going to be, you're going to be a really well, uh, like, uh, worker. You're going to, you're going to, um, you know, excel in your career a lot quicker than those who don't think like leaders. Um, the, the, the important, the important thing is to remember leaders are there to lead by example and to help other workers. It's important to envision this as a, as a worker, you need to uh, start thinking ahead and uh, plan. Everybody needs to plan for financial success. Um, so w the workers on the ground are the most critical part uh, for, for this. Um, you guys are the ones who are uh, the eyes and the ears on site. You're also the ones who are responsible to ensure that the materials and, and uh, techniques that you're using are as per the drawings and specifications. Um, it's no, no good when people are taking shortcuts forgetting things or using the wrong materials or you know taking shortcuts just not doing uh, the the full process and making it look like the end product right it's just there's when there's steps missing inside um, for example you're building a wall and it has to be insulated but you forget to insulate somewhere and you just covered up with drywall those are the little things that uh, I'm talking about because then they build up those things to build up and build up and build up until you know the the project is just no good right so there needs to be uh, consistency and, and credibility um, so once you're once you're a, a real true industry leader you're going to be watching for these things you're going to be making sure that the materials and the techniques that you use are what were specified in the contract documents right the drawings and specifications um, almost every worker should have access to the drawings and specifications um, every foreman or foreperson or superintendent will have a set of drawings. So um, if you start looking at the drawings and understanding what you're building, uh, that's gonna help you in the future. Sure, there's lots of guys who just wanna go to work and uh, go home at the end of the day and they don't really think about what they're doing in between. Um, I, I see this a lot, uh, especially with the older generation, sorry guys, but uh, it's true, uh, that you're, you know, you're just kind of laid back and it's just a, it's just a job, right? Um, they don't think about the entire project, right? So they just come to work and uh, put their day in and uh, then go home, right? Uh, well, a real, real true leader 
uh, we'll always be thinking about the uh, the project and, and or your task, what you're doing, what you're building. Uh, you're a real leader is always going to be thinking and dreaming about what's tomorrow, what is going to happen tomorrow, uh, what am I going to be doing, how am I going to do this? Um, that's uh, when your brain starts thinking like that, then you know you're on the right path to becoming a real true industry leader. So loyalty to the company that you work for is um, important to be a good leader because you need to have the full vision of the project. You need to uh, plan to achieve uh, success, right? You have to uh, work with uh, upper management uh, flawlessly, right? You don't want to have any um, issues between upper management and field management uh, that could delay anything in the, in the field, like anything, uh, delay any of the project. It's very difficult to assess any one individual's leadership abilities. Uh, the successfulness of a project, meaning the goals and objectives were met, uh, reflects on how well the management team works together. Um, how how much profit was made, it, all that stuff, right? It was completed on time. That all uh, will reflect on that actual management team. So you're gonna, when you go through construction, you're definitely gonna have a group of people that you build around you that will support you and you take from job to job to job. Um, what I mean by job to job, project to project. Sometimes when you leave uh, one company for another, a lot of times the assistance will go as well. A good leader will have good communication skills and a, and a good ability to communicate the progress of the project to upper management. Um, also, a good leader will understand how critical it is to make timely decisions uh, to facilitate the uh, completion of the project on time. Understanding the crews and the motivation necessary to achieve the project goals is uh, is important because there are so many different uh, personalities on a, on a site and everybody working together sometimes in close quarters uh, can be irritating and a lot of the times um, you know you're going to clash with uh, other workers so you need to be able to recognize this as a leader and um, kind of put people where they belong where they should be right and not and away from the people and the things that they don't uh, that they don't like you gotta um, you have to know your workers you have to um, know how to motivate each individual person they're Everybody is a, is different. All right, well, you made it to the end of the video. That means you're on your way to becoming an industry leader. Um, don't forget to join us every Sunday morning with the live stream. Uh, last live stream was on building information modeling, the trends in 2018 and forecast 2022. Uh, my next video, uh, next live stream coming up this Sunday morning is going to be on construction robotics. So there will be, I'll be covering the automatic bricklaying machine and the automated drive, like the self-driving skid steer. Uh, don't forget to, uh, if you're new to uh, Chris Conkle Vlogs, then make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Thing, and uh, YouTube thinks you want to watch this video, so go ahead, watch this video. This is Chris, bye for now.